I've just been feeling this really strong urge that I'm going to get ready to go soon. Like, getting excited, like, seeing signs on TikTok. And I'm like, maybe it's, that's just all in my head. Um, but even today, I was just feeling a strong urge, like, you know, I'm going to be moving soon. But I just don't know how or when or how, when or where. And it's kind of, like, scary. But at the same time, I'm like ready just went to walmart and i just got some crates because god been telling me since like february that i'm getting ready to move like first he put it in my spirit first he put it in my spirit and i felt it in my spirit just had this feeling like i'm getting ready to move like and i had this same feeling before i moved the last time so i immediately noticed it and i'm like i'm getting ready to move i feel like i'm about to get ready to move i had the certain sudden urge to want to pack up my things and get ready to go but i didn't because i'm like i have no reason to think like that before i had a dream to confirm what i was feeling this time i didn't have no dream but then god came to me himself and he said you getting ready to go like i'm about to bring you up out of here he told me some other things that was going on he told me to pack my stuff like pack my stuff like just in case i gotta get up and go and i'm like okay cool then i packed these bags and god comes to me again and he's like i saw that you packed them uh them two bags but you didn't pack enough sitting here thinking to myself like well if i gotta get up and go like i'm not gonna have time to take all this stuff with me i'm just gonna have time to grab my stuff and get out and he's like pack everything pack everything declutter give your stuff away downsize put everything in a place that cannot be burned store your valuables in places that cannot be burned and i'm sitting here just like you know what i'm just gonna do it so this is me acting on faith this is me acting on faith today is may 5th 2022 um, I'm probably not even going to upload this until the day I move, but I just wanted to document this because I just bought these storage bins. I'm strictly moving on faith. Um, so I have packed up most of my clothes. I packed up a lot of decor. So a lot of like sentimental things, um, like family pictures and the frames. I've put those in the bins. So we're still moving on faith. I don't have the money to move right now. Ain't had, I've been living on faith for seven months. Oh hell. God gonna do it, don't know when. But he told me to pack my stuff and get ready, so that's what I'm doing. I am ready to jump when he says jump. So here I am, moving on faith, packing up more things. I have my storage bins. One of these might already have something in it. Um, this is a new storage bin. I have to vacuum seal these still. Um, I think I have one more thing I wanna fit in here. Uh, but yeah, I'm packing up everything, strictly moving on faith. Have no proof or how or how any of this is going to happen or where I'm going, but I'm literally packing up my things. I literally want this house to look like I was never in it. So, yeah, I packed up a lot of stuff in these bins and I vacuum sealed the bags, which left a lot of space for the storage bins. So I still have a lot more space. Moving on faith update. You guys saw before, like I was putting like extra clothes in storage bins. So that's done. And those storage bins also have been moved to the garage. A lot of my clothes are packed up and they're out of the house. Barely have any of my own clothes in the house. Like, and I've been trying to refrain from buying new clothes because I know that I'm moving soon. So now we're focusing on the, on the upstairs. Earlier this week, the Lord instructed me to throw away all items and gifts given to me by a specific person. I threw it all away or I gave it away. My space is so much clearer. Like I didn't really realize how much stuff I had from this person until I started to give it away. After I gave all that stuff away, I started, my dreams started coming back and I started being able to remember my dreams. And I was like, also like the Lord instructed me to get rid of any and everything that does not reflect him, yoga stuff. My mom had this big Buddhist painting in the living room. I took it down. I know she's probably gonna be mad about that. I don't care. Um, I broke it, gave it away. All the incense that had like the new age symbols on it, threw it away. They weren't mine, but I just gave them away. Anything that looks like new age, occultic, um, I gave away. The more things I get rid of, the lighter I feel. Like the energy in the house is shifting. It's becoming more real, like it's getting real. Now in the month of June, it is June 4th. Lord told me not to say anything about uh, me, me leaving or me moving. I'm excited, like, because it's starting to look like I'm leaving. Like, it doesn't look like before it didn't really look like it but now it's starting to look like i'm getting ready to leave so that day comes that i do get to leave my stuff already gonna be packed up like all i gotta do is load it into the truck and i don't even have that much stuff so 
on another episode of living on faith moving on faith right so i know in order for me to move i'm gonna have to have a job so the lord has not permitted me to work for a long time i had a real job since 2018 2017 like recently the lord has given me permission to go back to work but he said there's a specific job that he wants for me with the details of this job he said this is going to be a remote job he said this job is going to permit you and your family to travel back and forth like move about go wherever you want um and he was saying that you will be under good leadership that's all he told me and then today i went on tiktok and i saw that southwest is hiring they're opening up the job site for a remote customer service position in certain states I'm going to beef up my resume and then i'm going to apply and then i'm going to fast and then i'm going to pray because i always wanted to work for southwest I would be so, so, so happy if the Lord granted me that opportunity. But if he has something else in mind, he got something else in mind. But I just know that the Lord is getting ready to send me back to work. And I know that's also going to play a role in me moving. Oh, I'm so excited. Y'all probably not going to see these videos until like I move out of this place. Here we are with another episode of Moving on Faith. I've been instructed to go get some boxes and finish boxing up the rest of my things. So that's what I'm getting ready to do. I have a lot of books to box up and some shoes and my kids things that need to be boxed up so was being obedient when I got these boxes so I'm gonna box these things up this week so now the Lord is like rushing me like you need to hurry up and get your stuff up out of here so most of my stuff is out of the house like the stuff the really really valuable stuff is out now I'm just finishing up the last of it. the only thing that isn't boxed up is like my kids clothes and I was like really didn't want to box up their clothes because I'm like we still um like get dressed and stuff and everything i would have to go in and out of the garage every day to get clothes i was just like they told me it's better to be inconvenienced than be poorly prepared so i'm just like i gotta get the rest of this stuff down i gotta put the rest of this stuff in boxes put it in a garage we literally almost done first i was so excited i was packing up everything and then you know things started getting slow the things he said were coming i wasn't seeing anything school getting ready to start for the kids so i'm like well, when am I, when is this stuff gonna happen? When am I gonna get out of here? I'm like, well, I didn't pack up everything and put it in the garage. So it's like, should I even be buying school stuff to put in the house? Should I even be preparing my kids' rooms for school? I didn't give up hope, but I kind of just like, was like, I'm gonna take a break from this for a while. And I stopped packing. I even brought some things back in the house because I'm like, I kind of need this stuff. And I'm like, well, let me just continue to get them ready for school, get this stuff handled and ready and continue to move on faith, even if it's in small increments. He was getting discouraged, definitely was feeling a little crazy, like, you know, doubting myself, doubting what I heard, what I know to be true. And so I'm at this point where it's just like, <sighs> trying to encourage myself, running low on funds. That's another reason why I'm getting super discouraged. Lord, where is this money coming from? <laughs> like, you said you're gonna send me all this money. You said you're gonna do this and the third. Like, I'm running low on funds, Lord. Like, I don't know how I'm gonna pay my bills. Like, what I'm gonna do? To plateau um, in my faith, where I was like on fire. And I'm like, I'm crazy and I'm crazy. I don't know. Like, I don't know if I'm hearing what I'm hearing. I don't know if I know what I know anymore. But I do know that I know what I know. It's just like right now, I'm not feeling it. It is now August, like the end of August. And I'm still in the same house, like even though the Lord has been telling me to pack for several months. So, yeah, pack. There's still some stuff that I have to put in the garage, but it's like I'm basically like have been living out of boxes for like months and wearing the same clothes. It's like things have been moving kind of slow, and I don't really know why. I don't know where I'm moving. And recently, the Lord told me that He wants me to change majors. I'm kind of playing things by ear at this point and just waiting but so far things in the house has been pretty chaotic between me and all my siblings like there's some good days some okay days and there are really really bad days and i just be like when am i getting out of here even though i feel like the time for me to get up out of here is coming closer and closer and closer but waiting for everything to start happening moving on faith update it is now september and a lot of my things are packed into the garage a lot of things are not packed into the garage it is getting cold and I am kind of trying to figure out what's gonna happen at this point. A shift, I do feel a change. I do feel like I'm getting out of here soon. For one, the Lord had me remove my children from the daycare that they were at. He just told me like, 
take your kids out of there and don't go back. Literally that same week he told me that, they did something that even if the Lord hadn't told me that, I would have took my kids out of there. And I bought a couch. I felt really moved to buy a couch. Really wanting furniture for when I leave. Like I just wanted to own some furniture so that when I move into my own place, you know, I have furniture. I have TVs and mounts. I just want, I want a couch. Um, everything else can wait but like i just really wanted a small nice nice couch for wherever i go and i got one and i'm glad things are happening but then it seems like a whole lot of nothing is happening too so the moving on faith i'm moving out it is january 6th it might be january 7th i'm moving out today and i'm not moving out the way that i thought i was going to be moving out i'm actually getting kicked out i'm actually being forced out it is what it is. That's a whole other episode for another day. Now I'm trying to hurry up and get my things out of here. Um, I'm just about done. Got most of my stuff out of the basement. My other stuff is like in the garage and I need like a bigger truck to come get my things. You know, God has been warning me about this for a while and you know, I'm luckily, I, I heeded to all the things that he was telling me and most of my things were packed up so I could get out of here quickly. He did tell me that there was gonna be a time where I was gonna have to like get up and go and now is the time where I'm getting up and I'm going. And over this house before I left, because I don't know what's gonna happen to it or the people who remain here. I'm gonna have to just tell you guys everything soon um, because it's a long story, but I spared a lot of my testimony and my journey because I wanted to respect the person who owned this house and I wanted to respect the people who also lived within this house still. But now that I'm no longer here, I get to share more. Lord has been with me all the while I've been here and I'm so grateful for the things that he's done for me while I was here. The experiences that I've had while I was here, the things that I went through while I was here, it's helped me be who I am right now. Um, it's helped me move one faith. And I think that's what this journey was all about, moving on faith. And now I'm entering a new chapter that's gonna require more of me yeah i'm kind of trying to buckle my seatbelt for that but i trust god there's some things about this situation that he told me some things but i'm looking around like can't see it but i'm gonna trust him i'm not gonna question him i'm just gonna continue to pray about the things he's told me for now i have to remove myself and when i come back it'll be different maybe if i come back i don't even know if i'm gonna come back i want to come back but you know the lord i'm trusting the lord the lord is in the driver's seat I'm just here for the ride, but I'm going to buckle up because I don't know what's going to happen after this. But I'm trusting God every step of the way. I'm out at family's house for the time being while I'm figuring other things out, while the Lord is like moving other things out of the way. All my stuff is like downstairs being stored until like I move it. I knew the Lord said I was moving, but I didn't think it was going to be like this. I feel like I was kind of like forced out. Um... I was forced out, but I know that was also provision. I also know that was the Lord like ushering me to move. Um, it wasn't really about me being ready because if I waited until I was ready, I would have never left. But like the Lord thought I was ready. So he pushed me right on about the door. He gave me my next steps, like what I'm supposed to be doing next. I'm just going to follow through with that and be in prayer.